Hey guys, I'm here at the Bancroft Center for Sustainability and I'm going to give you a short update what has happened in the last month. So I think I had the first video about a month ago when we started here. Officially we took over July 1st and today is our work day. So let's see if we get to see one of our little workers have to turn it. Ah, here it is turning. And here is our number one water worker right here. He's doing an excellent job. Oh, door is closing. So we had some of those little flowers and there's some buckwheat going here. They were donated from a farm where they we're very stunted and they're not huge, but they are coming along quite nicely. The strawberries are a little bit cleaned up and are certainly happy, happy, happy. Here is Farmer Kelsey. Hello. <laughs> and then here we have the marigolds which took off, the squash is going, everything is just taking off. Again, here this was. Um, just some buckwheat for cover crop. We staked up that little tomato. It looked dead and it keeps going and going. So we're going to do some harvesting in just a little bit. And now look at this corn. The sunflowers look really small compared to this corn. Now this can get up to 20 feet high. And I'm not good with judging, but I would say we're at 12 feet already. That's my guess. So some of those trees here are done now producing, but we are setting up the garden beds and we got everything which is kind of dead to put on the bottom. So we are creating kind of a little hookah culture. So we have wood on the bottom which can uh, break down and hold water. More of the corn going strong. And then let's come over to the tomatoes. So those are going to be tomatoes we are going to just save for seeds. They are not very edible, not very good, but they make a good rootstock for crafting next year and they have taken off like there is no tomorrow. And then this year were tomatoes which had been planted before and they were just neglected. So we popped them up a little bit because they were really too far gone to to really stick up or do anything, we would have just broken them. And the way we water right now, until we have our system in, is to just flood the baits and then move the hose from place to place. And we get away with watering maybe twice a week right now. And see all said bare soil. So today we're going to put some compost on there, which will help to keep the moisture in. And then here is the fig tree where we can hardly wait for those figs to get ready. So if you're in the San Diego area, come on down, visit, hang out, eat figs once they arrive. And if you're in San Diego and the 12th, we have a seed saving class at this very place. And I forgot the date now. I think it's, uh, ooh, ooh, I don't know. But I will definitely post it. We're going to host a fix-it clinic here. All exciting stuff. Come on down.